Welcome back to another video. Today I bring you the Furion solar plug how-to wire and solder video. Based on all my research I've noticed the Furion plug is not pre-wired in a lot of solar setups. So you need to go buy your solar panel, hook it up to a solar charge controller, and then hook that piece up to the battery. Um, you have to wire everything, solder everything yourself before you can get a fully operating system. So hopefully you guys find it informative and useful. So the Furion plug itself is compatible with this Amazon plug that I found and the vendor name or the manufacturer name is CN Linko USA. They're the only authorized Amazon retailer that sells this plug. And it's supposed to work on RVs made by Grand Design Forest River based on research. I'm getting it from my fish house slash ice house. Uh, part number is LP-20-C02PE-01-001. And the cable specifications, you can only use it from 14 to 12 gauge wire, rated up to 20 amps, 500 volts, IP67 waterproof rating, and its working temperature is good from negative 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. Can anyone guess what's inside here? soldering iron <laughs> optional but it's flux paste I have this vintage one that my old man gave me I mean look at this thing and maybe a little shrink wrap I guess never hurts huh okay let's get to it appropriate tip save your comments for someone else okay just kidding post below holy rocket launcher add some heat shrink here I'm just doing a little test fit and strip I did about a quarter inch at first and then I'm had to make sure that it fit into the little plug and I did the other side relatively simple so just take your time eyeball it and snip so right here I'm pre-assembling all the plugs in the correct order because once you solder the end piece you can't reassemble it right so you kind of have to loose fit all the little components um, I ran into a couple struggles where the rubber grommet would get hung up on the ins on that wire insulation, so I had to remove it, redo some of the connections, as you see there. Kind of fight through that a little bit. Final test fit looks good, and that's really it. Okay, soldering time. Here's some. Um ruby red ruby fluid so what this does is if you're having issues with solder flow into the wires into the connection you kind of want to use this flux and it helps the connection to here a lot better an anti-frustration tool dip it like that just a couple little dabbles apply it but i'm gonna go less because i know that it's gonna kind of crackle and pop as I solder. First solder going in. So the way I check to make sure that the soldering iron is good and ready is I just touch it. If it smokes, it is ready to rock and roll. Not easy to see. Holy cow, there's no room. see that
and what do we read? 1372? 1372, which is not quite matching that, but I think I would trust this over that. <laughs> 